like it. I like it. Conditions that I had to train in, um, I would say I rated it very high for myself um, because uh, one cannot get everything. And um, this year, um, this that season, I was blessed with the world indoor and the African Championship three times on a row. So I, t I can't complain because I didn't win the Olympics. So um, I know that I still have more Olympics. I'm still gaining more experience. Um, I think I rate myself very high for myself. I was, I think, in the course of the year, you lost two local um, competition down there. Yeah. Well, how would you, what would you say was responsible for that? Well, um, if I should say that I, I was sad, I would say um, then I'm not happy because athletics in Nigeria doesn't want to go better. Um, my aim is every athlete has to try and get better. And being beaten in my own country doesn't mean the end of the world. I was happy when I came home and I felt a stiff competition because it's going to make me want to work harder because before I used to come and oh, I would always win. So um, I would say a little bit of a confidence would have come in. And when I came back, I felt very happy because the younger ones were working harder, which means that I know I'm going to have a harder time next year and I'm going to work hard towards it. Okay. Um, so right now you started preparations for the next season. Um, how would you see yourself in the next World Championship coming up? Well, um, to me, God, um, God has been seeing me through in everything. Um, I always I have one principle: man um, disposes, uh, man preaches, but God disposes. God, God is the only one that can know what I'm going to run. I'm working very hard, and I have my own targets. But I always like to keep my targets to myself and let God do the rest for me. Because um, I might be wishing just to get a medal, and God can give me a world record. He never can say. So right now I'm just working very hard, going to Europe, trying and get have fun. That's the most important thing I try to do in most of my races. Okay, um, um, it's not long news that administrators do not really treat you at least properly. Would I be correct to say that? As in, in terms of getting your grants across to you and other benefits that you you need. Well, um, I won't really say administrators on a whole. I would say the country as a whole. Because country, okay. let's say the fact, I have a lot of fans and I really appreciate them a lot. A lot of people call me and the only thing they tell me is to change nationality because nothing is coming. Um, I won't really blame them also because look at the fact, um, if you go to Europe, you see in the billboards, you see um, sportsmen being sponsored by different companies in this con um, in their own country. We have so many countries in our country and there's no athletes that's being sponsored by anybody. So it's not fair. You see on um, CNN, you see so many companies advertising in CNN, but what's wrong if you take a Nigerian athlete and try and sponsor him? And then later everybody comes. If an athlete feels, you say, oh, the athlete is not doing well, but what is anybody trying to do for the athlete? Okay, you talked about the conditions in which you worked in. What kind of conditions exactly, you know, did you work? Well, um, when you look at the conditions in working, um, it all comes about support. Because um, an athlete, uh, you need a lot of support to training. You can see we're training now. Yesterday you saw my training. I yeah. couldn't even talk to anybody. I just had to go home. <laughs> it's very tough. And imagine if I had to go home and tell you I didn't have food at home, what's going to happen? So it's very bad. And most of us, we are tough, but we have families to take care of. A lot of family. And a lot of people see when you go to Europe, they think it's easy for us. In Europe, we have a lot of expenses. People might say, oh, they gave us grants last year. What are we doing with the grants? But let me tell you, we have to pay for multivitamins. They're very expensive. Most of those top guys, I'm telling you, in Naira, they use more than 3 million, 4 million just to buy vitamins for the full year because they can afford it because they have sponsors coming. But hey, Fashiba, what do I have as a sponsor? Nothing. They gave me a grant very late. I had to try and use it to do something. And unfortunately for me, I got injured. And I got injured. I'm still here to get the money that I used to treat myself on two occasions. So <laughs> those are the conditions I worked in for last year. With all that in place, won't you really see? Your, as in the calls for you to really change nationality, won't you give it a thought at all? No, let me tell you something. If I tell you uh, there's no thought like that, then I'm a liar and I don't like lying. <laughs> the thought must always be there. There's no athlete, I'm telling you, even an unborn baby who's going to be an artist is going to tell you he wants to nationalize. But what can we do? This is our fatherland. If everybody goes, it's going to remain. So we're all trying our possible best to remove that thought from our side. And we always pray to God, please, don't let it have to come to a decision that you have to do that. Okay. But do you see um, the situation and conditions in Nigeria sports changing very soon? Well, um, I've not been in athletics for so long, as I would say, but with the short time I've been seeing, um, there are ups and downs. Sometimes it gets better, sometimes it gets just so and so. So for now, the only thing we can do is to pray and beg the government, please try and do something. It's not only fashion, but the other athletes coming up. You can see there are a lot of junior athletes training with me. Many of them, I'm telling you, when they go home, they have nothing to eat. Try and get something for academy for them, get jobs for them to do. Most, even look in Europe there, there are small academies for junior. Those days I used to hear, they were classics. I mean, I mean not really classics, but they, I mean the athletes were in camp and they had something to eat. 
So they were not bothered of what they're going to think. But right now I'm telling you, she caught up the athletes here. By the time they finish, they didn't know what they're going to eat. So the government has to try and do everything for everybody, not just for when you get there, do for those that get there. No, it's also trying to help the upcoming ones also.